Well, you know, it'll soon be time to go on vacation to PEI. Uh, yeah, we'll be going in a few more weeks, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, we were there last year, and we saw a lot of animals. Uh, yeah, like which ones are you referring to? Well, we saw horses. Actually, they were reading the city limits at, at the farm and the university. Yes, there were horses there, and they, they have them there to... I think they treat them there or something at the veterinary college. And what else did you see? Well, do you remember the llama? Uh, yeah. I laugh because when he spit in your face. Well, that wasn't too pleasant, but they can be a little obnoxious at times. You get too close, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he liked you. <laughs> I don't think he liked me either. Anyway, uh, yeah, what else did we see? Well, we we saw a lot of cattle and a lot of sheep. Yeah, there's a lot of sheep there. And I guess they they give wool. Yeah, and uh, lamb and mutton is um uh, is something that's eaten a lot too, you know. Yeah, I suppose yes, but I noticed they they keep the well fenced in and they have special fences. Uh, yes. And I saw some, they had a, like a wooden collar around their neck. Yeah, there are some that they do that. The fence, um, uh, they can't get through the fence side uh, so easy when they have that wooden, wooden collar thing around them. Wow, that can't be comfortable for the sheep. No, but they haven't learned to not to stray. You want to keep them off the road, and you want to, don't want to lose them in the woods. Yeah, I suppose, but it still looks uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, well, I guess there is some fencing that can help there, but it's probably expensive. Yeah, well, I, I guess they're prone to wander. Uh, yes, they are. And, you know, Jesus talks about sheep in the Bible, too, you know. Yes, I guess he does. Yes, he does. And in uh, John chapter 10, uh, it says, Jesus says, My sheep know, my, hear my voice, and, and they know me, and they follow me. Yeah, I guess that's right. But they, 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 do they wander over there in the Middle East? I don't think they wander as much. They let, they they don't have fences, and the sheep, whether it's a different breed or they're they can be taught. I don't know, but I and I've never been there. Have you ever been to the Middle East, like to Israel? No, I'd like to go sometime, but no, I haven't been there. Neither have you, have you? No, that's what I just said. So. What I'm saying is, I haven't been there, but I've been told by several people that my sheep and somebody else's sheep and everything and, and the goats it may all graze together on the land. And at, at the evening, when it's time to put them in the, in the corrals, uh, in the sheep pens, each shepherd can call the sheep and the sheep know the shepherd's name, or the sheep know their shepherd's voice, and they come to him. And so they get all separated and get right back to, to their own, their, uh, the people that really own them. Wow, that's awesome, isn't it? So, so we are like sheep? Yeah, in more ways than one. If we're, if we're sheep and we know our, we know Jesus' voice, and we should answer his voice, and we should obey Jesus the way the, the sheep in the Middle East obey uh, their their uh, shepherd. Oh, yeah, I get that now, yes. But some sheep are like the sheep here. They, they're prone to wander. They, they get out of the pen. They get outside the, the fenced area if, if they're allowed to. So... Uh, 
we Jesus talks about lost sheep and, and things like that. But if we are, according to this sheep, Jesus says, know my voice. And so we're his sheep. We should know his voice. So what does that mean? Well, I guess when he speaks, we follow. Yeah, when we know what we're supposed to do. The Holy Spirit tells us, the Bible tells us, and we hear about it from the preacher in church, but does it mean we always follow? Mm, no, I guess it doesn't. We all are like sheep and stray sometimes too. That's right. So we should hear, when we hear Jesus' voice, when we hear the, our shepherd's voice, Jesus our shepherd, we should listen and follow. That's right. So that's our lesson today. Yeah, that's our lesson today. Follow the shepherd. And Jesus is our shepherd. He's our good shepherd. That's right. He's a good shepherd. So, that's the lesson. So, you're going to do that? Doing my best. Yes. And we we all sometimes stray a little bit, but Jesus calls us back. And we should hear that voice and come back to him. And Jesus looks for us like he looks for lost sheep, too, and, and tries to bring us back. Right. Okay. Well, you have a good weekend and a good week. And you too. And so we'll, good Lord willing, the creek don't rise, what's going to happen? We will meet next week. Right. Okay. God bless everybody. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all later.